the Bible says, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that, ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. The book of 1 Peter is often called the book of suffering, speaking so much about the subject, the suffering of the believer, the suffering for righteousness sake, the suffering that comes with following the Lord Jesus Christ in a fallen, broken world. And here towards the end of the book, the Holy Spirit of God reminds Peter and reminds all of us that though you may suffer a while, this too shall pass. Things are seasonal. Our world is broken up into different seasons, summer and winter, spring and fall. The Bible speaks of preaching in season and out of season. First Peter even talks about if need be for a season, you might be in heaviness. You're going to go through seasons as a believer. And some of those seasons may be seasons of difficulty, profound suffering, weakness. And in the heart of a season, you feel like that's all there is, and that's all there ever was, and that's all there ever will be. Who in the middle of summer thinks of fall? Who in the dead of winter can remember the warmth of the summer sun? And yet, just as those seasons pass away when their appointed time has come, the seasons of suffering you and I may go through of difficulty will pass away. We may not see them happen overnight, like the seasons do not change from one day to the next, but we can look back and realize, oh, the weather is changing. And we can look back and say, oh, I'm stronger. I've been perfected. I'm settled. So continue on, dear one, because whatever you're going through, if you follow the Lord of all grace, this too shall pass.